Um, and she says, uh, Ms. Fallon says that she is more qualified for the job because she has children. Mm -hmm. um, and the other contender does not and have And she's children, never been married. And has never been married. Yes. So, it's so do you ironic. think that motherhood, uh, that that experience is necessary for being a good governor? You know, it's so ironic, Barbara. You came up in a time uh, as a newswoman where if you had a family and children, it was harder for you to do your job and probably they would say, oh, no, she has to take care of her children. Now it's been turned on its head where if you have the children, it's against the woman who doesn't have the mm -hmm. children. The men, do you know, wait a second, we have, a, we have 50, 100 senators, 17 of them are women. Do they ask the other uh, eight, almost 80 senators, uh, have you been a nurse? Nurturing father right. in your career. But that's typically no. something Only they women, to women get this dilemma. Yes, I agree. And you know what, Joy? It's sad because this is the first time that Oklahoma could have a, a woman leading that state here in politics. And I think that being a mother or a wife should never work for or against you. You are. You, it well, is not your. Both women. No, I'm, but it, as women, it should never. It has been used against women, and it will be but used. But I still think you should bring Heaven it into your campaign. Both. Children. Neither should be used. It should be off limits. I think and who it you are as a person, used. not Absolutely. as a no. professional. I think that it should be used. No. I think that I, if if you have somebody who's a mother and you're saying I have six kids, I'm I am relating to that because I know when you get on an airport, most people who complain about the kids are people who don't have kids. People who have children have a compassion. But Sherry, you can. I, 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 I let use me just it. Tell you what's you use everything in your life. Absolutely not, Sherry. I'll tell you. Married, the it, difference between losing a Sherry, battle and winning the Sherry, war. If you, are, if you allow, like let me say this, if you allow someone to use whether or not you are married and have children mm -hmm. for their cause in terms of yes. working, you are then also permitting them to use it against a woman you know what, in that's terms the of way it works. I think Absolutely. everything in your okay. life, no, everything in your life, right. you should, she should no, not say, no, okay, she should no. not put that okay, on the back burner say and say I'm married with kids. Number one, you maybe remember, remember when Sarah Palin was running and people said, yeah. I think unfairly, well, how can she be a vice presidential candidate? She has these children and one has Down syndrome. How can she manage to do both? Well, she has. I would like to just read you a little bit. Condoleezza Rice, never married, no children. Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan, never married, no children. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, divorced, no children. Janet Napolitano, who was on uh, with us last week, two-term governor of Ara Arizona, never married, no children. And I think no you can children. have another list with Hillary. Mama. I think you can so use Hillary Clinton. Right. I think you can talk use about hot topics. Is it awfully hot? Hot topics today. We'll be right back. <laughs>